all right guys what's going on we've made it to friday all right so it's beautiful out here i don't know where you're at but it is uh b-a-u-t beautiful all right so uh thanks all my subs members everybody watch the channel thanks for the support uh, watch video all the way through appreciate it uh, what i want to address today in the summer wells investigation <clears throat> summer wells case summer wells investigation whatever you want to call it um you know every there, there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about summer being sold okay and uh, after giving it some thought i don't think summer was sold a lot of people have the idea that you know don and candace may have owed money for drugs and you know summer was taken to i guess erase the debt if you will i don't believe that uh, i know i've known a few people uh, that has owed drug debts and they've had small kids and I don't know they just they want the money they want the money they don't want these kids okay from what I've seen they don't want these kids you know what I mean so I'll tell you what I think um, and I don't think summer's in a dungeon or in a bad environment I think uh, I think whoever has summer felt sorry for Don and Candace I really do and summer you're like why do you think that Don well after giving it some thought Maybe these people talked and was like, you know, the, the boys would fare better in CPS than Summer would. <clears throat> I'm thinking, you know, they got together and was thinking, you know, some, you know, they're 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 going to be investigating Summer. We need to get rid of her. I mean, if they if these kids go to CPS, Summer ain't going to do good. Summer's. I'm thinking that they were thinking Summer's not going to do good in CPS custody, foster care. I'm thinking they were assuming the boys would do better in foster care but summer would not and that was part of the reason um, if she's alive um, that's part of the reason why I think she wasn't sold but rehomed so they they found somebody to take summer so this investigation ramping up into summer you know because summer disappears then there goes all the evidence to put people in prison you know what I mean especially if somebody was doing something to summer so and we'll get into that right now so anyway that that's my thoughts on that okay uh, so I don't believe summer was sold but more along the lines of rehomed to avoid prison okay <clears throat> now let me ask you guys this if, if I, I really need if, if you're watching this and you're an ex CPS worker or you're a current CPS worker uh, ex law enforcement current law enforcement uh, let me run this scenario by you and let me have your opinion on how it would play out If CPS thought Summer was being essayed, how would that investigation get going? How would they? How would CPS handle that investigation? Um, I mean, to have something like that investigated. Uh, do they have to have police do it? 
or can CPS investigate that part alone until test results come back of whether she was being essayed or not and then the police get involved um, is it a would it be a partnership investigation with CPS and the police or would it just you know CPS would refer uh, their suspicions to police about it you know and police would you know have some are evaluated for SA you know I'm not sure how this I'm not sure how this works that's why I'm asking for uh, your opinion so if you're if you're in the field or was in the field and you experienced something like this um, is it a partnership investigation between CPS and police um, does CPS just do it themselves and then when, when, when the results come back get the police involved um, or do they just you know refer their concerns to the police and let the police investigate it a hundred percent let me know how that's done but uh, I've got I've got a I've got a uh, I've got a thought that um, you know summer was being investigated probably on suspicion of SA and um, it was going to put some people in prison right so you got to get rid of her got to get rid of what is going to put you in prison but at the same time um, and it could it could not be that okay guys it could just be neglect it could be exposing the kids to uh, drugs you know, they, I think Don and Candace ultimately knew those kids were going to be removed by CPS. And we all know now that they were fine with it. I mean, they didn't even fight to get the kids back. Didn't do nothing to get the kids back, right? So, um, maybe somebody that knows Don and Candace felt sorry for them, and especially someone that cares for Summer. Uh, maybe that person also didn't want to see Summer going into state custody because she didn't think Summer would fare well uh, in the foster care system, CTS system, you know what I mean? So maybe something was arranged and again that may have been why they went to the swim hole on June 15th to uh, meet with someone who maybe uh, was part of the plan of getting Summer out of there, out of the environment on 110 Ben Hill Road that way. And then, and then they could say, well, we, you know, she, they could do the abduction theory. She got gone, but you know, it's just convenient how Summer gets abducted when they're doing an investigation on her right but bottom line is they have no summer they have no evidence that's the bottom line convenience suspicious whatever you want to call it um, yes yeah, summer summer disappeared under suspicious circumstances conveniently uh, maybe during a CPS investigation. Mm. But at the end of the day, if Summer was evidence, that evidence that is no longer here for prosecution, what do you do? What do you do? So, um, not unless you can come up with a uh, hell of a circumstantial case, you know what I mean? So let me know your uh, let me know your thoughts and opinion, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And again, uh, I'll jump in there and and try to respond to as many as I can. But let me know. Let me know what you think. Y'all loving these videos, ain't you? Anyway, I appreciate you for uh, tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.